how many guns you got. They're going to integrate all those lists, all those databases, put your psychological records on there. They're already doing it to the troops. And these troops get home after disarming the Iraqis. and They can't own guns anymore, and they call me up crying. Hey, listen, buddy, you're a chump, okay? The battle for the republic's going on here. It isn't over there killing a million three hundred thousand Iraqis. I don't care how many two doors down propaganda American warrior propaganda pieces they show at movie theaters. You know, the, the, the military isn't our military anymore. And, and, and they're going to say, are you for the military or are you for the terrorists that own guns? I stand with the Second Amendment, not with our hijacked military. I don't want to hear it. They use all this phony patriotism to gut our country. We're already in the North American Union. That's high treason. Serving this criminal government means you lose your pension funds, your Second Amendment. You lose everything. And they could steal all our money. Liberty would let us build it back, as Ron Paul has said. But if they take the liberty, folks, we're conquered. And there is no quarter these people are going to give us. Sensible gun laws. Remember, it's sensible gun laws. Police on the beat. Giving our kids an alternative to that street. And making sure that we have the drug laws. So people, because those are the type of people who are made most access to most violent types of crimes. Once the cops program ended... Once we let those gun laws uh, ban, uh, bans expire, a 40% increase in homicide rate, a 35% increase in violent crimes. With Total lie. That's not true. Crime rates from the 1990s dropped precipitously, mainly because of concealed carry, which turns a right into a privilege, but it put guns out on the streets. But it created the idea of everybody who was able to have a gun being licensed when it was something you just opted into. And now, because the economy's been imploding for at least four years, some violent crime has gone up and robberies have gone up because we know that when the economy falls apart, crime goes up. But the highest increases in the numbers he's quoting are from New York and Chicago and L.A. And most of it is the Mexican mafia and MS-13 killing each other when he uses those numbers. And MS-13 targeting blacks and killing blacks, which is now even mainstream news. To become a made member of those groups, you got to go kill a black man. Because those groups really hate each other. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That is the score. That is what is being dealt with. And uh, he's calling it reasonable to not have a Second Amendment right if they, and no one will, it's secret how they put you on the list, no judge, no jury, no arrest, no indictment, no facing your accusers. They just say... And by nineteen, by 2007, it was 700,000 plus people with 20 plus thousand added every month. And now it's over a million people on the list and growing. Over a million people. Over a million people. And federal marshals last year in the Denver Post came out, senior ones, and said, look, there are no terrorists out here. We're ordered at the airport. Let us tell you how you get on a no-fly list one way. And they, you can go pull up the Denver Post article. They said, if you take a picture of your children while you're in the gate, or if you take a picture out the window, you are put on a terror list for life. That's just one way. Or you don't pay income taxes, you're put on the list. This is harassment. This is like going to your door of your apartment and you haven't paid, so there's a big lock on it. Or going to your car and there's a boot on it. Because you haven't, you know, paid. But but this is your Second Amendment right. Oh, you haven't paid the offshore bankers. And it came out again. Every person he's proposing, every person for his cabinet or sub-cabinet doesn't pay income taxes. 65-plus percent, that was in the news years ago of Congress, doesn't and never pays them. They just don't pay. It's not, they're criminals. They don't follow their own stinking laws. And so under Know Your Customer, under Patriot Act Compliance, when you buy a used car, when you rent a car, when you get a hotel room, when you get a $500 loan at one of these check cashing places, when you cash a check, when you get a bank account, when you deposit checks, it's all instantly uploaded to the government. Everything is watched, and it isn't even a government. It's a criminal group that's using the government as its apparatus of control. I'm going to get more into this with Mike Rivero coming up. But uh, this is it. Isn't a game, isn't a drill. This is the big one. And they are coming at us from every single side. 
They are rabid anti-Second Amendment, anti-self-defense. They are coming. They are going to use the military against you. They have built FEMA camps. They are bankrupt. And we've got to stand up in one voice and say, we know you're dirtbag criminals. Coming up next hour, too, Obama did what I told you to do. He's come out and he wants bailout, too. But, of course, they're saying that will be secret. And the Federal Reserve testified last week in Congress and said, we won't tell you where the trillions have gone to congressmen. And now they want not trillions more because they've already got that passed where they can steal whatever they want and it's secret. This new one is to move the Federal Reserve offshore and you'll pay your taxes to a completely private offshore group and pay new carbon taxes to them. And a bunch of -of out-of-work gangbangers are all filling up the military now. Oh, heaven help us. Just heaven help us. Reb in Colorado, you're on the air. Go ahead. Okay, let's let Reb go. Mike in Wyoming, you're on the air. Yes, good morning, Alex. Welcome. I uh, uh, I tried to call last week, but uh, my message was this. Uh, a couple times a week you get a caller who will say, well, uh, other than waking up my neighbors and, and showing them DVDs, what can I do? And they sound very frustrated. Well, one thing you can do is uh, when you hear a major story, like your story about the uh, emergency camps, the FEMA camps, uh, call the uh, uh, the congressman who sponsors it. I called uh, Elsie Hastings, Hastings uh, office last week, and I, I talked to the receptionist there. A, you know, a young girl as always, who I I could tell she hadn't taken any calls on this. And I know you have hundreds of thousands of listeners. Uh, you know, if these guys get deluged with uh, with phone calls, uh, they will back off. And and your crowd alone is is uh, capable of doing that. So, you know, don't sit on your hands and assume that someone else is calling and uh, and complaining about uh, these uh, measures. Uh, at least do that much. Mike, what do you think of everything that's happening? I mean, it's even worse than I predicted. It's it's horrible. They're, they're going full tilt buggy. Uh, it, it is. And I, uh, I, I talk to some of the people I work with, and uh, I, I show them articles, and, uh, and, and they'd rather argue with me than confront the, uh, the ugly truth. Uh, you know, I'm looking at other countries, but frankly, where the heck do you go? And I'm sure you've gone down this same thought trail before. Uh, I mean, America really is the last island. And, uh, uh, yeah, I could go live with my wife in the Philippines. She's from the Philippines. But, uh, uh, the, you know, that thought is not all that tra- attractive to me. And uh, I'll, I'll be damned if I'm going to let these uh, criminals chase me out of my own country. Mike, anything else you want to add? No, sir. Good to hear from you, Mike. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Mike's been calling for for 10 years. The gun grabbers are out to get us, folks. There's no doubt. We'll be right back. For PrisonPlanet.tv members, you can watch the television show live. We're going to go live in five minutes. Mike Rivera on with us for an hour. Open phones. Getting into the FEMA camps, the massive gun confiscation legislation, extra judiciary without even a court. They just come confiscate your guns. They put you on a no-fly list or a criminal list, then they SWAT team you. You couldn't make this stuff up. It's actually happening. So we go live, simulcasting at PrisonPlanet.tv in T-minus five minutes. Brent in Pennsylvania, you're on the air. Hello, Mr. Jones. Hi. I I have some great news for you. Hi. Brent Light have decided to join the Infowar. I start my own website, brentlight.us, and the first thing you see when you go there is me giving a 25-minute speech about the New World Order. I tell people about eugenics and some of the things they're being poisoned with, and I tell them about the Federal Reserve, and NAU, carbon taxes, and I finish off my speech by telling them about the Bohemian Grove and the Shiva statue at CERN. But by far the biggest contribution I'm making to the Infowar is the revolution made easy. It's basically a list of recycled advertising techniques if your listeners read through this list of ideas, they'll be armed with a whole new arsenal of weapons to fight this war. And we need them because we're running out of time, Mr. Jones. You're right, and everybody needs to start websites, start local radio shows, start access TV shows, go to city council, hold up the legislation with mainstream articles to build FEMA camps for gun confiscation. The media before tried to sell us on tyranny, and the public said no. So now they're just doing it and not even talking about it. Uh, it, it's, again, n- all good men and women need to come to the aid of their country right now. Because, 
looting pension funds, taking over nations, bankrupting them, always goes along with physical tyranny because the criminals engaging in the heist have to be able to protect themselves from the public. Absolutely. And, and see, the thing is, I, I found out I've been talking to a, a lot of people, and a lot of them are, you know, they're smart people uh, uh, from, you know, good colleges and stuff. And they're, <laughs> there's no nice way to put this. They're, they're, uh, they're ignorant. They, they, they want to be fools. They don't want to know what's going on. They were taught that it's cute to not care, that it's cute to be stupid, it's cute to be a know-it-all who's dumb as dirt, uh, that it's cute to laugh about government corruption because they were taught that didn't exist. And now they're going to be hurt very badly by these criminals. These criminals killed hundreds of millions of people last century. The group running America funded the Bolsheviks, funded the Nazis, funded Mao. They have brought down hundreds of third world countries, and now they're doing it here. 